So when we are discussing about the different parts of the transport system, we discuss it there. The transport system it consists of blood, blood vessels, and heart. So these are the three major parts of transport system. Among this, the blood it consists of plasma, and it consists of cells. And among these cells, we discussed about WBC and RBC. We discussed about the different things which involve in the functioning, its major role, supply of materials, collection of materials, that is distribution, circulation of materials. But sometimes there is one part of these cells which take part in the maintenance of the transport system, repair of the transport system. The blood it consists of cells RBC, WBC, WBC and RBC. Along with that, the blood also contain platelets. What are these platelets? So these platelets they help in clotting of the blood vessels, clotting of the blood if there is any damage to the blood vessels. So if there is any damage to the blood vessels. And why the blood vessels are damaged? Maybe because of accident. What is that accident? Accidentally some knife while cutting vegetables or while cutting fruits accidentally. So you may have some cut. So you cut your finger while cutting fruits or vegetables. So then what happens? You see that blood coming out, bleeding takes place. So you are cutting, you have cut your finger in the sense your blood vessels are cut. They are damaged. What happens then the blood flows out from your circulatory system. If it happens continuously, if you lose all the blood present in your body, then what happens? The person will die. But it doesn't happen. The bleeding, it stops automatically after some time. That means the blood has got some repair mechanism by which it stops the bleeding naturally. Of course, sometimes you put your effort, you put your finger, you put some cloth, you put something there, you tie it hard, you put some cold water or ice to stop bleeding. You put your efforts to reduce the bleeding, but naturally, internally, you have some mechanism in your blood itself, which will prevent the excess bleeding. That is the platelets. So when there is a damage to the blood vessel, if the blood vessel is damaged here, the blood it flows out. So in the blood vessel, the platelets they gather together, and these platelets they block the blood vessel, and they initiate a series of reactions. They will convert some materials, some enzymes into some proteins. So these proteins, they have joined together to form some fibers. And these fibers along with the platelets, they form the clot, clot. So clotting is a physical as well as a chemical reaction which will stop the bleeding. They will block the whole, the damage happened to the blood vessel. They will control the flow of the blood. So platelets, they help in the repair mechanism of the blood vessels. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.